Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So welcome everyone. Those of you that are new to this, uh, my name is Ali. I am one of the co-founders at CIT Clinics where we do, uh, we offer psychedelic medicine really in the context of comprehensive care for you know, everything ranging from PTSD, anxiety, depression, and um, other mental health challenges. And this 15 minutes of positivity is a really integral part of how I define comprehensive care, meaning, you know, we are what we repeatedly do. So the idea that, you know, ketamine or, you know, other interventions that we use in clinic are really just there to support this, this long-term sustained well-being. And in my experience, there are no shortcuts to cultivating this kind of positivity other than practicing it. So that's the goal here is Monday through Friday, just for 15 minutes, we get together and we we practice. So today being Thursday, I think of this as Thankfulness Thursday. And some of you have probably experienced this, uh, this meditation or this process before. I call it gratitude for the basics. And, uh, you know, earlier this week, I talked about uh, cultivating superpowers. So how mindfulness or attention training, you know, focus and concentration, when we become better and better at uh, those specific skills, uh, are that they are literally superpowers they, they 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 become the kind of foundational uh sort of the the it's, it's the foundational energy that we use you know through which we we go through life and gratitude is absolutely one of these foundational skills lots of interesting studies by you know robert emmons here at uc davis you know show you know even after 10 weeks of a prescribed gratitude practice uh, people start exercising more. They, you know, go to the go to their physician less. You know, so there's these, and I always take these kinds of studies with a bit of a grain of salt. But they're fundamentally, you know, the, the it all points in this direction of saying that, you know, the more we activate those parts of our neurology and physiology that that are associated with gratitude, the better off we are. The better we do, certainly in the long run. So this uh, idea here of gratitude for the basics is just to take some time and appreciate how much uh, of our day-to-day -day life is positively influenced by all kinds of things that most of us frankly just take for granted we don't really notice them throughout the day so i'll walk you through this the session and hopefully it's um it'll, it'll stimulate something uh, that maybe you weren't going to experience on your own today so let's start by closing our eyes and as always, always start with just connecting with the present moment. And for me, it's, it's grounding. So there's something about seeking some, some sense or some proof in the present moment that I am connected to the ground somehow. So I'm actually sitting on the ground. Some of you are probably sitting in chairs, maybe in your car. Doesn't really matter where you are, but see if you can focus your the locus of your attention on how am I connected to the ground? And the reason that's, you know, creates a sense of presence is because the only way we can be in any given moment is by somehow being connected to the ground. So when we focus on that, it brings us into the present moment. And you can use little tricks like wiggling your toes, bringing more attention to how you're connected to the ground, or just shifting your behind in your chair and your lower back and just readjusting the position. But whatever it takes to just zero in on how do I know that I'm conscious and aware in this moment? And the answer is just notice where you're connected to the ground. just slowing things down. We have about another 10 minutes together. Let's see for the next 10 minutes, we can together really stimulate this experience of 
what it's like to be a human being that's experiencing gratitude. So really noticing where in your body does gratitude register? What are the thoughts or the images that accompany your sense of gratitude? And just trust that whatever's on your to-do list will be there in nine minutes from now. See if you can just let it go for now and just be fully present. We'll start off with gratitude for safety. And we happen to live in a society that for better or worse, you know, in this part of the world, compared to many other parts of the world, we are relatively safe. That may not always be the case for you, so I don't want to make any assumptions, but for right now, just noticing how on this call, in this moment, right now, just appreciating the fact that you're safe. You have an internet connection, we're on this call. There are many humans on planet Earth that are not safe in this moment. Right now we're dry, we're warm. And there's many people even in the Bay Area who in these past rainstorms were wet and cold and weren't safe. Just appreciating that for a moment. And as much as you can, focus on the, the experience in your body. Like, Where do you feel this appreciation for your momentary sense of safety. And then shifting to what I would call a, a functioning society. And again, not making any assumptions about your specific life situation. But again, for the most part, I know that if I needed to pick up the phone and call 911, at somewhere, someone's gonna pick up the phone at some point and listen, that there are traffic lights that for the most part work. And that when I wanna walk across the street at a crosswalk, there's a general sense that cars will stop and they'll allow me to cross safely. There are stores I can go to to buy food. We generally live in a functioning society and it doesn't just happen on its own. It happens because we're all participating in it. And next, appreciation for what I would call basic infrastructure. So it's still, having been a wilderness guide for a few years of my life, I remember coming back from spending a fair amount of time out in the back country, and just being amazed at the concept of a shower, just being able to walk into a room and there's a handle on the door and I can just turn it on and hot water flows out, or a toilet. or a light switch that I can just turn on and magically light appears whenever I want it, two in the morning, five in the morning. And taking a moment just to appreciate that this is there. And for the most part, it works.
And next, some appreciation for communal spaces. So all of us share sidewalks and roads and parks and parking lots. Again, this is how our society functions. And the fact that these are maintained, again, for the most part, some better than others. But there are, there's a playground across the street from me. There's kids playing and parents hanging out, pushing strollers and Again, there's the safety, the basic infrastructure, and it also applies to these communal spaces. And access to food. We live in an, an incredible abundance of food. I'm oftentimes overwhelmed when I go into a grocery store by how many kinds of cereal and ice cream and different kinds of milk. It's amazing. Just taking a moment to appreciate that most of the world does not share this with us. We're, we're rather unique in history and geographical location that we get to experience this abundant access to food For the most part, we can go into restaurants and eat food and trust that it's clean. We're not going to get sick. We can drink the water. And somewhat related to that is waste and garbage. Unfortunately, we produce an incredible amount of waste and garbage in our society. And even that somehow works. In my case, every Monday, people show up in these magical trucks and they just cart off all the stuff that I don't need anymore. And I know they take it to, uh, to the dump and it's processed and there's a whole, there's a whole system to how that works. And all I need to do is just to remember to make sure that by Monday morning, the garbage and the recycling is out. And last but not least is a sense of convenience. We live in an incredibly convenient time in history. I have a phone in my pocket that Anytime I want to look up some information, I can simply type in some question and get the answer to it. I can pick up that phone and call a restaurant and say, I'll be there in five minutes. Will you please have a, a burrito or a meal prepared for me? Again, none of this happens by accident. We're all beneficiaries of it. I could keep doing this for a while, but it's 12.15, so I want to, I want to wrap things up. I hope this was um, a helpful reminder of how much there is to be grateful for, a lot of the stuff that we usually don't, don't see or don't pay attention to. I think it's really good to take a moment and sidestep our busy day and just say, oh, right, there's all this stuff that's supporting me, so thank you. And thank you to you all. Um, Hope to see you tomorrow at noon, same time, same place, and uh, we'll do uh, we'll do a practice to set us, ourselves up for the weekend. Have a great day, everyone. Take care.